Have you heard of any other brand of razors other than Gillette? Now I'm sure there are a few like Wilkinson is there and there is a relatively local brand I could say which is called as Supermax. Uh, although they do have their products being sold in many parts of the world. Uh, when we talk about shaving blades, we always refer to uh, Gillette. How is it that these guys managed to achieve this monopoly? Now, firstly, let's look at what makes razors so expensive. Now, there are some, in fact, which are relatively inexpensive. I buy the ones which are, uh, I think, 80 rupees for about four or maybe five blades. But there are those, in fact, which go all the way to a few hundred rupees. Like I remember one, I think it's the Gillette Fusion something. It has this gel sort of thing and it's a, uh, it's an electric razor, a battery powered razor which Gillette has made with the blades being disposable. And I ended up buying it for around 400 something rupees. And to be very honest, I really do not see the difference in using a, a, double, edge, a double blade razor or triple blade razor or even uh, a razor which is run in an electronic manner or an electric manner, sorry. Uh, I really don't see the difference. But all these products in fact are quite expensive. So what makes them so expensive? Firstly, the marketing cost. You talk about Gillette making these advertisements, you always have celebrities who are shown in these advertisements. Now, when you have celebrities which, who are shown in these advertisements that makes the product expensive, I think in fact there was Federer as well in one of the commercials of Gillette and it's in fact a very popular commercial. So that's where the marketing cost is in fact quite high. Another one that you have there is the steel. Now, steel is an expensive commodity. Uh, it's also one of the important factors in the wholesale pricing index, which is used to measure inflation. Now, you might say that the amount of steel used in a razor is very less, but we are talking about millions of units of razors being manufactured on a daily basis, manufactured and sold rather on a daily basis. So that in fact could drive up the cost of steel and that adds to the total price that we pay for a razor. And then the design cost. Now, if you look at the different blades which Gillette makes, there is one with a sort of a gel at the bottom, which is supposed to make the uh, shaving process easier. Uh, there are even, uh, there is one which you can see in this photo, where it has the swivel on the head of the razor. So you can cleanly go through the contours of your face without any difficulty. Now, all this is in fact a design and you have people who are paid to come out with these creative designs and that in fact adds to the cost. Now, I had written an article on my website explaining uh, what makes iPhone so expensive and I explained in detail uh, how is it that design plays such a vital role in making a product expensive today. Now, Gillette has got a lot of things when it comes to the design factor, the way they design the heads of the razor, the way they design the body of the razor. Uh, you, have, you might have noticed that the designs for razors used by women versus the ones which are used by men. Uh, there is a huge difference in the kind of design that they uh, use in both cases. And now that as well adds to the cost of the overall product. So how did Gillette try to, or rather, uh, will achieve this monopoly in uh, their market? Now, when you talk about razors, it's uh, having a clean shaven look. It's supposed to be a sign of being disciplined. Now, that's ironic considering that I'm someone who chooses not to shave and prefers to grow a beard. And I have been criticized that um, having a lot of facial hair is a sign of lack of discipline. A lot of men are very concerned about how they look, how they, how they want to portray themselves to women. So they prefer to in fact be clean shaven. Uh, just look at most of the Bollywood actors today, SRK for that matter, or Amir Khan or Salman Khan, the Khans who kind of rule the Bollywood world. All of them are clean shaven. Uh, that is in fact how they like to portray themselves and that is something which is a way to show that they are disciplined. I know it sounds silly, but that's something which is put in our mindset. Being clean shaven is a sign of being disciplined. Then, women like clean shaven men. Uh, if you look at the advertisements of Gillette, that is what they show. The best a man can get. 
and as soon as this guy uh, shaves his face the next thing that happens is there is some good looking girl who comes from behind and feels his face now that's an impression that the advertisement creates and it works uh, for men especially we go to great lengths to actually try and impress women uh, that would be in fact by using the best possible deodorant by having a clean shaven face by using hair gel uh, there are a lot of things in fact a man does in order to make himself look good to attract the opposite sex now that's not something which is new because that's uh, something which is very common in the animal kingdom as well and we are no different in that matter as well so because in fact men like this and we like to show off that we are clean shaven and we are quite disciplined that is something which Gillette has uh, tried to monopolize and they want to show that in fact if you use our razors you get the cleanest possible look uh, the three blades that are there the four blades or the five blades i think the one that i bought was a five blade razor which is supposed to give me the smoothest possible look and by doing that i can be clean shaven for several days without having to shave it uh, over and over again and that is in fact able to make me look good for a longer period of time that is something that Gillette is trying to exploit and by exploiting this they're able to achieve that bit of monopoly that's a bit of a parody that you have there wherein they've shown that Gillette the latest razor has in fact got 19 blades it doesn't exist yet but I wouldn't be surprised in fact if Gillette had made a product like this so that's it from me guys I hope you found this video interesting thank you for your time see you guys bye